They say the camera put ten pounds. They're lying. That was twenty. <laughs> I'm so humbled to be here today with you.、Uh, only seven years in the real estate industry. Today, I'm just standing here and talking to you. You know that was a blessing. So just straight to go to business. I have only twenty minutes to share from nothing to build a successful business like Black Diamonds and a serious money machine. So <laughs> thank you. I think everybody loves that. So I am a real estate agent, but I am also a businesswoman. So real estate plus businesswoman. So、um, Black Diamonds are.、Uh, Is、uh, as you know, we're selling a lot of luxury properties in Sydney, and to we focus on high net worth、uh, Chinese millionaires,、uh, ultra high net worth Chinese millionaires. So we sell a lot of properties, and by not just selling a property, we do provide them a concierge service. So what the heck is a concierge service? So does it mean we actually carry their bags from their cars to our master bedroom? So when they move into one of our luxury properties. No, so we do. What we do, we do sometimes. We do offer an、uh, industrial necessities, but addition to that, we more facilitate with their life、um, style expectations, dreams, and goals, and we make them a valuable member of Australian community, not just a rich one. So,、uh, you know, in addition to、uh, furnishing their homes,、uh, fill their garage with luxury cars, or finding their children a schools, we more facilitate with their. Lifestyle decision, where, when, and why to buy, and business decisions, investment, partnership, alliances. Most in, importantly, charities, philanthropies. So major、uh, donations has gone to major institutions in Australia. I just give you a couple of examples: Red Cross.、Uh, I'm personally a founding patron of you know Red Cross members, and a lot of buyers of、uh, from China are actually a member of Red Cross as well. So Children Medical Research Centre, Art、uh, Gallery, New South Wales, just to name a few. So our concierge service don't carry your bags. But we will hold your hand, so we'll join the doors and just serve as a bridge between the two cultures. So I think I hope you enjoy the short video introduction, and so that will give you a clear glimpse of test of where Black Diamonds is positioned in today's real estate, only after shortly seven years of time. So what extraordinary seven years of time full of excitement, of craziness. And a lot of learnings and productivities and profits, so a lot of profits, and again a lot of luck as well. So interestingly, I found、uh, the harder I work and the luckier I get. I bet you never heard that one before. So、um, Black Diamonds is a luxury、uh, real estate agency, but we define the luxury not by the property. We sell is by the service we deliver. So it doesn't really matter how much you know is your property worth two million, forty million, hundred million. But we try to deliver the same service they deserve. So we normally say premium service equals premium price and premium result. So that's working out really, really well. So we know exactly who we are in today's market. We know exactly where our brand sits. But who are you? And what's your values? So,、uh, where do you stand in your market? So, you know,、uh, when I come to Australia about、um, 1988, it was a long time ago. So, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I want to be. I, I didn't even speak English. You wouldn't believe I didn't speak English at all. So, English, you know, obviously you can tell it's not my first language, and it's not my second or third either. So, that's another story. So I've got too many minutes to remember, but you know,、um, when I come here, before because I don't speak English, obviously my career opportunities and the, you know I was very very low. I couldn't find a job. So in、um, 1990s,、uh, something I realized. So we Asian are go to for electronics and electronics goods. So you remember those days? You know, if you think about your computer needs to be fixed, you want to buy something, you go to a shop and. Most of shops are owned by Chinese, so you know I, I couldn't find a job. So what I did is I just opened a, a cash store at the weekends, 
So, you know, but I didn't know anything about electronics. So what I did, I, I found uh, something really interesting. It's called recordable CDs. So I started selling recordable CDs in, in the markets. Um, that was, you know, if somebody has a business mind and, uh, you know, uh, probably a bit smarter than me, you probably found uh, I did identify my strength, identify my most sellable value, my Chinese eyes, and I found a niche market to enter. But what characteristics is your most defining and most valuable asset in today's real estate climate? Are you utilizing your most valuable asset, your Chinese eyes, or maybe blonde hair or green eyes? So just you know, on the markets, uh, my business was phenomenal. I sold so many recordable CDs, and the massive amount of recordable CDs I could sell, but it's more like network and relationship I was cultivating at the ground roots. So they say you've got to make the in first impression only once. So I went beyond and above to make sure that every single person passing by my store, by my blank CDs, where they feel absolutely special. Because you know the weekend um, um, market is actually on the shop, in the shopping center, so all the family will come back every week. Doesn't matter if you want to buy a product from me or not buy a product from me, but I'll make sure they'll come back and they say hello. So my return business was phenomenal. So are you creating the best and first impression for ultimate lasting impression? Are you capitalizing all networking opportunities? So are you providing a genuine, genuine customer service? So cut a long story short, you know, in the market, I make so much money, so much cash. <clears throat> so eventually, I have, to, I, have to, I have to actually buy a second-hand cash machine from the bank. I pay cash. So, <laughs> so now I'm telling all you my secret now. So, but you know, um, I want to expand my market share. So the problem was, the market is only open on weekends. So I cannot work any longer. I cannot work any harder. I cannot work any smarter unless I get a job from Monday to Friday. Oh my God. So this opportunity come you know, from you know, a corner store in Surrey Hills. And the gentleman said, OK, look, you, know, you can come and work for me and for $300 a week, but anything you sell, I'll give you 10% commission. Guess what? For, you know, um, first month, I make like $4,000 average per week, because I, I just get my product go to the, you know, um, uh, Harvey Norman stores. So he said, oh my God, you make so much money. You know what? You know, um, he's a very clever businessman and really good looking as well. He said, Look, we should keep the money in the family. So maybe we should get married. I wa <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was like 33 at the time. So you know, you do your calculation. That was a long time ago. So you know, I was single. I said, "Oh, he's good looking. Okay, let's get married." So I married this man for. <laughs> I married this man for 14 years. So you know, we had, we're still business partners in many other ventures until today. So you know, um, <laughs> has your company partnered with the correct suppliers? Definitely, I did. So do you have in place a strategic relationships that will take your business upwards and onwards? So kind of long story short again, so because you know, I've got only about 10 minutes to, left to share my other stories. So you know, the business was phenomenal. So from this corner store uh, you know, in Surrey Hills, and um, so we grow the business from you know, um, one product to 500 products. So um, this, this is really, really interesting. I was actually uh, selling so many recordable CDs, I've become the number one distributor for Kodak Recordable Media. You know Kodak, the gold CDs, uh, number one in the world. Not bad for a little humble Chinese from China, lah. <laughs> so, um, you know, what, what happened is that, you know, today, uh, Laser Corporation uh, has got, you know, offices in Shenzhen, Hong Kong, Auckland, and Sydney, Australia. 
um, we have 500 different pro products and distributed by a company called Ingram Micro, who is the number one distributor for products like Hewlett Packard, Samsung, Microsoft, Apple, you might heard about that brand, and of course, laser products. So I think I did shift the goalposts from a little corner store to an international company. And um, anyway, um, you know, uh, I think it's, it's pretty good for a Chinese woman, you know, like uh, no English and no, no background. But anyway, so Lisa just celebrated the 25th uh, you know, anniversary in 2012, as you can see, but as a true entrepreneur, so if you want to grow, at some stage you have to let go. So I, I'm, I'm a, like a street smart woman. I've never been in corporate environment. So if I want to grow that business to a corporation, I have to, you know, do that. Let go. Well, it's, it's difficult, but I have to. So I did hire a corporate tiger from ex Panasonic a general manager. So I built a winning team at Laser. So I give the new captain to steer the ship. So I also gave my new captain percentage of my company share, so make sure the ship will not hit the icebergs. As a you know, um, you know, reward for my loyalty, and I give my personal assistant um, of 17 years a uh, percentage of the company, so she can, keep, she can make sure that all the passengers on the ship are safe, and keep an eye on the new captain as well. So, <laughs> so in 2007, that was a very, very interesting year. So, you know, Jennifer Hudson won the Best Supporting Actress for the Dream Girls, and Helen Mirren won the actress for Oscar, so Monica too officially retired. <clears throat> so, you know, what, what is my retirement life? I go shopping, I do yoga, probably about five times a week, and I shop. <clears throat> and I do tennis about three, four times a week, and I shop. <clears throat> so I pick up my daughter from the school five times a week, and I have so many high teas, afternoon teas, and, you know, uh, probably a shop again. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so this is my retirement, and two years' time, I, 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 you know, I, I really enjoyed it. I lost about eight kilos, you know, that's a, the biggest reward to me. But... People say every second counts. So I say every minute can earn. So I, <laughs> I realize, you know, I, real, I, I, I have as many days as, you know, Beyonce. And even though, you know, I was, you know, I couldn't waste all my time of shopping, even though I was a single lady. So I thought I really have to go back to the game. So sell something. <clears throat> So, you know, in 2008, uh, God bless, I met my very handsome um, husband, Jad. So Jad has a serious passion for real estate, and he's been running our, our material, building material business. So, you know, Jad loves real estate, and I, I, I love selling. Oh my God, call me genius. Let's sell real estate. So 2009, Black Diamonds was born. And, you know, I, you know, as a business entrepreneur, so are you continuing to grow bigger, bolder, and better? Or are you analyzing your wins and not just celebrating them? Do you focus on your losses or learn from your mistakes? <clears throat> I learned a lot from my past business. So I'm going to put everything I have learned from past business to this baby called Black Diamonds. So we're going to grow bigger and bolder. So 2009, you know, you know, off we go. So me and Jar, the real estate agent, uh, he's my team member. So, you know, I tell everybody, now Monica too is a real estate agent. I tell everyone who the lesson. So eventually one of the evening, we'll have a, I'll have a dinner party. So one of my girlfriends from a CDR recordable day said, oh my God, Monica, you're a real estate agent. What a coincidence. So I actually had um, uh, somebody I heard from a dinner table yesterday, he wants to buy a property, I said, give me the number. <clears throat> so I take the number and I call, I call this guy, he's called Mr. Chen, I said, Mr. Chen, so you know, my name is Monica too, I'm a real estate agent, so what would you like to buy? Oh, I want to buy a waterfront property. So I said, what's the budget? $10 million. I said, excuse me, how much? $10 million? <clears throat> I said, no problem. <laughs> so, you know? so you know, the problem it was, I didn't do my prospecting course. I don't have nothing for sale. So, <laughs> but you know, guess what? But I've got one day to prospect. 
So I pick up phone and I call 99% of the real estate agent who has got the property for sale, Waterfront, because I have to show Mr. Cheng on Friday. I've got one day to find the property. So maybe it's because of my Chinglish, bad English, or whatever English. <clears throat> nobody, nobody bothered to call me back. So I got no choice. I said, oh, Jad, you know, husband, come on. You know, like, your English is a little bit better than me. He's got a really funny accent, by the way. So I said, why don't you try? <clears throat> I really need a property. So he picked up, the phone, picked up the phone and called this gentleman. So this gentleman is fantastic. Actually, he's in the, in the room today. He's got this beautiful accent. Oh, uh, no problem. So my, my partner, Richard, is specialized in waterfront property, but he's not here today. So I'm sure I will do something with you by conjunction on Friday. So this beautiful English accent spoken gentleman is called Mark Manners. He's in the room today. But Mark and Richard didn't know that was my first property. Okay, so now you know the secret. So, so we start showing, <laughs> we start showing Mr. Chen the property. We show him lots and lots of properties, and, and you know we found out exactly what he wants. But eventually, so we found the property for him. So the property sold for uh, thirteen point five million dollars. That was my first sale. <clears throat> Thank you. But I, I think I think you know just you know I think we really should thank. Uh, Mark and Richard, without them, I couldn't have the deal done. I couldn't even have anything for sale. So I think that's called a, a true teamwork. <clears throat> so uh, after this uh, um, property, because I got three minutes to go, I got a you know, not much to talk about, so I have to talk really, really fast now. So, you know what? After that, I, you know, five years time, I've been, I've been you know, working really hard with all the other agents. So, you know, lots of good agents in the room has been working with me for five years as a conjunction agent. So, I really mastered the, the, the art of selling to high net worth Chinese. Okay, there's no trick. So, selling to Chinese is about honesty, is about the trust. So, two years, uh, you know, ago, two years, two years ago, so people start calling me. So, they want to give me an opportunity, a little. Chinese woman, right? So you can, I think you can list and sell. So, you know, in that case, I really have to, you know, think about growing my team. So, you know, um, from then, I start working with my, my team, my, my family here. So how do I work with the team? So our team is from th different diversities, you know, different nationality, different language, and, and you know, uh, but one thing is in common, they do be believe in what I believe is service is everything. So trust, and integrity, after all this business is the only thing you need to know, uh, you need to have. So, you know, uh, in terms of skills, hashtag blessed. So we have got the best trainers in this country. So we can afford to give them the best trainers to teach them the skill and techniques, but we cannot afford for them not share my passion of delivering, delivering the premium service. This is my very good looking team. So, you know, I think um, uh, one thing, people like case studies. I heard a lot of people giving case studies. I gave a quick one. <clears throat> so no, no slides, right? So, you know, if you do have a value and integrity, will guarantee translate to financial reward and great commission. So I got a team member actually in the team uh, in, the, in the audience today. She was a personal trainer 24 months ago. So I love her integrity and really hardworking attitude. She's a champion swimmer. I said, Barbara Machinkova, come and join me as my PA. She said, okay, but I want to be an agent. I said, just be patient, work as my PA 12 months later. So I think we've got two months to go to the financial year. She, from a personal trainer, annual income $55,000 a year to up to today, the GCI is $840,000. <clears> so, there, there's no, no gimmicks. I, you know, after two successful business, I think it, one, one thing, only one thing you need to know, have a great value and great integrity and to make sure you're only as good as the company you keep. So, final thoughts. Um, I think everything in life is negotiable except my value and my integrity and my 2.2% commission, which is not <laughs> negotiable. <clears throat> okay. I, I, I'm not done yet. <clears throat> I, Tom, Tom, as, as Tom said, you know, I promised to give you some Chinese takeaway. By the way, I own a little restaurant in 89 York Street in Sydney. So if you walk into this restaurant, <clears throat> This is what you have to order. Okay, <clears throat> number 63, chicken laksa. 
That's essential. Identify your strength and know your market. Number 27, sweet and sour chicken. Somebody in the audience loves it. I asked her last night. So, identify strong strategic partnership. Number 44, stir fry rice. Cultivate a trusted and empowering network. So, number 33, whatever you want stir fry vegetable, beef vegetable. So, in order to grow, you must let go. So, number 11, be active, not reactive. I think you heard that many, many times. <clears throat> so number 66, this is actually my favorite, Peking duck pancake. So you are only good as the company you keep. Number 88, oh my god, absolutely, absolutely, you have to order this on Peking. Oh, sorry, that's a dessert. Okay, mango pudding. Values are integrities are priceless. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you.